Welcome to another video and welcome to the fourth video in this series and this is the free story series and this video series guys it began a long time ago when I was five years old no I'm joking it began last year guys when I <coughs> shared <coughs> you know I always start coughing when I start recording uh, but anyway guys it began last year when I shared the first pre-story then I released the pre-story part two then we did the Amazon package story. Now all the links for these videos will be found in the bio. This is called Home Alone. Now, on the board, I'm going to give you the plan for the five paragraphs as I always do. And then we will discuss and see what you guys think of this particular story. So in paragraph number one, guys, of this new story titled Home Alone. Your character is a girl. You can make it a boy, it's not a big deal. I chose for it to be a girl because it just fits my style better, but you can make it wherever you want. It's entirely up to you. So guys, your character is home alone and she is watching Netflix. Guys, she is watching Netflix and she's wearing headphones. Now this is a very important part of the story. So she's sitting there guys, home alone, parents have gone out, She's just been left to it. She's sitting on the sofa, chilling, having some food, eating some food. Headphones are on and she's watching her favorite TV series. You choose whatever she's watching. Now, what happens? She thinks she can hear footsteps. She thinks she can hear footsteps. So she puts the headphones back and nothing. She can't hear anything. Puts them back on. And then she can hear boom, 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 takes them off. That's the end of paragraph one. Guys, that's the end of paragraph number one. Then we move on to paragraph number two. And I think I've oversold the space on my board because I don't know how I'm going to fit all five paragraphs on the board when paragraph one's taking up half of the space. But let's just try to make it fit. Then we move on to paragraph number two. Now, paragraph number two. Guys, paragraph number two is the character, the girl in this case, she gets up and she slightly, ever so slightly, she opens the door. Just slightly, just to the edge. She's peeking outside. And guys, oh my God, she, her heart begins to beat. This is where you really sit and you describe the fear. What does she see? She sees shadows in her living room. Guys, she can see shadows in her living room. And at this point, all I would like you to do is describe the fear she feels. Paragraph number three, guys. Paragraph number three. After feeling immense, immense fear, paragraph number three, she calls family And she calls friends. No answer. Now, obviously, guys, at this point, I want you guys to add more detail. So she puts her headphones away, puts away her iPad. She fumbles around the room. She's looking for her phone. She can't find her phone. Eventually, she finds her phone. It's got 10% battery. She scrolls out to dad, dials. Dad's phone go to voicemail. Rings mom. Mom's phones go to voicemail. Rings her friend. Nobody is answering. All this time, her fear is building. She doesn't know what to do. But by the end of paragraph three, she makes an important decision. She must protect her family. She can't have these thieves breaking into her home and she's not gonna hide. So what does she do? Paragraph four. The TV show that she was watching was about a girl who becomes a hero and saves the day. So, in paragraph four, guys, she decides that she's going to protect her home. Even though she's home alone, today is her day. So, she gets ready. She puts on a, so, ah, that's right, guys, she gets ready. How you make her get ready, guys, is entirely up to you. In my one, guys, my one to put a banana on, she puts the army marks on her face, she rolls up her sleeves, she goes through her drawers and she finds like a little pen knife. She gets a hair dryer that's acting like her gun. She's fully ready to go. And paragraph four, guys, ends 
with her opening the door and facing the intruders. That's how paragraph four ends. And then we move on to paragraph five. And this is the paragraph that I leave open-ended because this is the paragraph that I leave space for depending upon how we want to end it. Conventionally, guys, what I do is she opens the door, right? And she's the hair dryer, pen knife, camouflage marks. She's ready to fight. She opens the door, lights come on, had a surprise birthday party, and she can't believe it. That's why nobody was answering the phone. That's why her parents' phone was going to voicemail. That was the shadows running around. They were getting the party stuff ready. That's one ending. But there are many other endings depending upon the question that you were given. But that birthday one always works. So remember guys, this is just a plot. You should be able to apply a plot to any question. So for example, if the question was, write a story about a time you were abandoned. She felt abandoned when her parents, where is it? When her parents and her friends and her family weren't answering her phone. Uh, write a time about, write a story about a rescue. That was last year's question, right? Write a story about, about, about a rescue. Guys, she kicks the bum of these thieves and she rescues her family from being robbed. Paragraph number, sorry, story number three. Write a story when things turn out unexpectedly. At the end, the birthday party, you weren't expecting that. That is how you fit that particular question. Remember guys, these are just ideas that you tweak to fit on the day. Whether you use pre-story one, pre-story two, the Amazon package, or now whether you use Home Alone. These are just ideas, these are just plots that on the day of your exam, you tweak ever so slightly to fit the question. This one, tweak it in the last paragraph because it leaves space as to what happens when she opens that door. Now remember though guys, What's more important than the plot is your language devices, your vocabulary, your structural devices, and your punctuation. So if you haven't, do watch my full video on how you plan and write a question five. Because just by having a plot isn't enough. It's nowhere near enough. The plot, the idea, it just gets you going. And I will say it because I always say it, if anyone tells you, that it is plagiarism to use an idea for an exam, tell them please stop chatting poo because that is absolute nonsense. You are using an idea, but you are the one bringing it to life with your own writing skills. All right, guys, I hope you find this video beneficial. As always, it's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.